We just made fudge. It was so, so easy. I've never made fudge this way or this easily, and it is good. So let me take you back and show you how we did it, and I hope you like it too. Let's go back now. Okay, I'm excited for this. This is going to be so good. Um, so three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to finish off my semi-sweet Gary, Jerry, Gerardelli. Chocolate chips. Gerardelli, whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a percentage on here. There's not. And then we'll do some 60% cake, Keiko, Keiko, cake, Keiko. Bittersweet chocolate. Oh, bittersweet. Dang. We'll see how it turns out. I did not pay attention to the bittersweet part, so. One, two, three, and then one can, which is, should be 14 ounces. Yep, 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I find that the Eagle brand has the same ingredients as the off brands, like the Great Value brand. But this just tastes better. It just has a different taste. So we're going to go with Eagle brand instead of off brand today. Even though the chocolate chips, the morsels are mostly bittersweet. There's a lot in this can. I think it'll still be sweet enough. But we'll taste it. Okay, so you can put this on stovetop and cook it down until it's all melted and then stop there so you don't overcook it because then the texture of your fudge will be off. Or you can put this in the microwave for a minute and a half, stir a minute and a half, and that should be enough according to this recipe, which will be in the description. So we're gonna do the microwave. And we'll do our first minute and a half. And then we'll stir and then do it again. All right, it's almost on the microwave. I sampled the product. Yeah, pretty good. Mix it really good. Okay, it calls for a pinch of salt, so I'm just gonna, ooh, gonna do that. Okay. And then the vanilla is one and a half teaspoons. It's got one here. And then I'll try to just do a half, uh, well, okay. So you just, you're supposed to immediately mix it in while it's still hot and pliable. And give it a really good stir. All right, that's mixed pretty darn well, I'd say. And we'll put it in here and smooth it out. Okay, so it's literally just um, sweetened condensed milk, morsels, vanilla, and a pinch of salt. Heat it up and then spread it out and then stick it in the fridge for two hours. So. This isn't like a fudge recipe where you have to boil sugar and other stuff and make sure the sugar is completely dissolved and stuff like that. Like this is, <laughs> this is extremely easy. I can't believe it. I've never actually made fudge this way. So we're going to give it a shot. Just couldn't resist trying it. I'm trying to get the edges. All right, we're going to call that good. It's already starting to solidify, but it will solidify completely once it is in the fridge for two hours. So that's where it's going now. Let me cover it up. See you back in two hours. Okay, it's been two hours for the fudge. So I'm gonna cut into it and give it a try. I'm so excited for this. That's still basically clean. Nah, needs a washing. Let me get a butter knife. Ooh, that was soft, not too hard. It is greasy though.
That's good. Okay. I can definitely taste the bittersweet of the morsels though. So this is like a dark chocolate, dark chocolate fudge is kind of what it tastes like. This is my first time trying it this way, so now I know. Make sure you have a different kind of morsel. I think I would prefer it to be a little different. Um, maybe throw in some butterscotch morsel, morsels at the end. I don't know. Some peanut butter, put some peanut butter in there. It'll definitely get eight. So yeah, this is a success. I'm going to use a paper towel and kind of mop up this oily part. See how, whoop, see how oily it is? That's okay though. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for being here. And this was super easy. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And I will see you later. I'll pop up some videos for you to watch over here or over there. Either way. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Bye. Hmm. Alright guys, so today I'll be trying my mom's fudge. And if it's not sticking to... Alright. It's, it's kind of dark tasting, like bittersweet morsels, because I grabbed the wrong morsels. It's good, but like, like... Like super dark chocolate kind of good. It tastes like, um, like those chocolate pieces that you had? Mm-hmm. You said there, and you're using, and you're going to use them for a recipe? Yeah. But it's super good, so... Well, good. I will make it again, and I'll make it with different kinds of morsels, so it's not so, so dark and bitter tasting. Hi. Bye guys. <laughs>